All right, we're out here breaking in a 2022 Yamaha Grizzly 700. All right, why a Yamaha Grizzly 700? I initially wanted one of the big boys, something with a thousand cc's. But I also wanted something that the whole family could enjoy. Does an ATV like that even exist? Here's the 2022 Yamaha Grizzly 700 Special Edition. It has an independent double wishbone suspension and speed sensitive electronic power steering. This provides a composed and predictable trail riding experience for the whole family. Yamaha provides one of the most durable and reliable transmissions on the market. The Grizzly comes with a 10 year belt warranty. I blew my first belt on my Polaris Ranger at about 300 miles. We got the special edition and that comes with 14 inch aluminum wheels and upgraded 27 inch Maxxis Zilla tires. To finish out the special edition, it comes with a unique paint job. The Grizzly's on-command four-wheel drive has three settings, two-wheel drive, four-wheel drive, and four-wheel lock. It also has a big, bright, easy-to-read LED display cluster. Let's take a quick look at performance. The Grizzly has a 686cc liquid-cooled engine. It's a fuel-injected four-stroke motor that is lacking in power compared to the Can-Am and Polaris 1000cc machines. But, and there is a but, because this is a large-bore single cylinder, it has lots of low and mid-range torque. I'm 6'4", 250 pounds, and it'll pull wheelies out of every corner. And that's trying to keep it between half and three-quarter throttle. All right, let's take a look back at uh, some of the things that we added. We put this box on the back. It provides a lot more storage and has a seat with some handles for a small kid. We really like it and we picked it up for only a couple hundred bucks. We also threw a 2,500 pound winch on here. These plastic skid plates are probably gonna go, we'll probably get some metal ones and then maybe color match them to the springs. We really think this is the perfect ATV for what we need. Now, if you're trying to go 80 or 90 miles per hour on an ATV, maybe this isn't the right pick. But if you're good with mid 60s and a lot of low end grunt, then take a look at the Grizzly. I forgot to mention one other factor. This is the biggest four wheeler after a whole bunch of measuring that we could fit in the back of this little baby truck. So if you own a ZR2, a Ranger, or even a Turd Pro, then you should take a look at a Grizzly. Sorry, Ridgeline owners, you still don't count. Thanks for watching. If you really liked the video, please like and subscribe. It really helps us out.